This is a TSWN special movie review presentation. Hey, everybody. Welcome to an all new movie review special presentation. Yes, sir. Just like um, the past two that had happened, the uh, United States versus Billy Holiday, as well as Judas and the Black Messiah. This movie, I needed some friends. So my friends came. I call. They showed up. Hallelujah. Because this movie, who I needed. I needed some extra um, eyes and ears and a little more, I guess, um, loving to this review. Because I think if I did it by myself, people would think I'd hate this movie. But in all honesty, <laughs> I didn't hate the movie. So what is that movie, you might ask? You know what? Before I answer that, you already know because you read the title. But let me introduce my good friends. You know them as my uh, geeks and arms. My, my bros, my fellow nerds, my good buddies from the Geek Table Talk, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Welty and Mr. Christopher mm. McNabb. Let's just Point. silence this real quick. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> silence that phone, sir, <laughs> because you may get a lot of hate depending on how you feel about this film <clears throat> and how you review it. So thank you, Chris and Dave, for joining me. Ladies and gentlemen, the movie we are going to review is the 2021. Is it a reboot? Is it a remake? I don't know. You be the judge. Ladies and gentlemen, we are reviewing Mortal Kombat. I just say, I wish I, wish I had, you know, the, the little flute with me. <laughs> Finish him. Or... The, the the sound by that is very, <laughs> very memorable to the ears and hearts of young Mortal Kombat fans. It has begun <laughs> from the original trailer. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to review. Flawless. Yeah, yeah. We, we really going to talk about that moment. <laughs> um, we are going to review this bad boy, the 2021. I'm just going to call it Remake Reboot of the i think the original came out in 1995 between 95 and 97 something I think it was like 95 that. something like 95 that. okay so this is the remake um hmm i might as well just do the synopsis right quick for this one um as imdb states mortal kombat 2021 uh, centers around MMA fighter Cole Young as he seeks out Earth's greatest champions in order to stand against the enemies of Outworld in a high stakes battle for the universe. <sighs> All right. Tournament, if you will. Tournament. Yeah. Yes. Uh, starring martial arts stuntman as well as actor Louis Tan as Cole Young, Jessica uh, McNamee or McNamee depending on where you're from. If you're from France, it may be McNamee. As Sonya Blade, Joss Lawson as Kano, Joe Taslim, woo, love me some Joe Taslim as um, Baihan, Sub-Zero wins. Makad Brooks, better known as Eggs to fans of the um, True, was it uh, True Blood? He's playing Jax. Tananobu Asano as Lord Raiden, this dude, who is truly one of my favorite actors, Hiroyuki Sonata as Hanzo Hasashi slash Scorpion. Scorpion. Get over here. Chihan as Shang Sun, Ludi Lin as Liu Kang, and Max Huang as Kung Lao. Awesome, awesome cast. The Blade. Blade Goro. Uh, Gora was completely CG <laughs> CGI. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Dang it. Damn you, you got me. <laughs> Dang it. I thought it was a human being who was born with four arms and a beautiful ponytail. That ponytail is laid. Beautiful right? ponytail. Truly beautiful. No matter if it was 1995 or 2021, there's one thing for certain. Goro's ponytail steals the movie. Goro rocks the pony. <laughs> oh, yeah. That tail is immaculate. <laughs> so, now that we got all the uh, particulars out of the way, woo, let's talk about this bad boy, because it was on HBO Max as well as in the theaters. It was the number one movie on release, so congratulations to that. 
Yeah, um, I mean, props where it's due, you know? It barely beat uh, Demon Slayer. Let, let's talk yeah, about uh, that, all right? Let's <laughs> just throw that out there. Mortal Kombat almost got its ass handed to him by an anime that was based on a train. I could be wrong. I, I didn't see the Demon Slayer movie, but I promise first, I was. First off, it. look, man, don't don't hate the Demon Slayer. Oh, no, I'm not hating on it. <laughs> I'm not hating on it because it looks awesome. I need to get in the series. Truly need to enjoy the series because I hear good things about it. But, uh, yeah, we Mortal are talking Kombat. about Mortal Kombat, <clears throat> um, yeah, which was on HBO the and theaters. Mortal Kombat. I mean, we're not going to take very long just to say how we feel. So... <laughs> I'm going to start with the guests. So since you two guys are my guests, let's go ahead and start with Chris. Chris, oh. how did you feel about Mortal Kombat? All right. Uh, well, to start, let, I'm going to say that they gave the audience everything they wanted in a Mortal Kombat movie. I mean, you got blood, you got nostalgia, you got fighting. Mm -hmm. um, so right off, the, right off the bat, I'm going to give them five out of ten for that. Okay, we're going straight to rating. Five out of yeah, five points for, for giving people what they want. I mean, but that's all they, really people wanted. Okay. Now, as far as the story, uh, everything else, I feel like this is almost like a prequel to the movie that they really wanted to make. It's like, mm -hmm. let's just get all the lore and the history out of the way. What I want is I want a movie like Bloodsport that's just straight tournament. Let's five minutes yeah. of like setting up and let's just go. One okay. after the other. These two people teleport them to whatever dimension, they fight, whoever comes back. Next, keep going. I want right, a tournament right. format. Okay. Um, but overall, along I'm, with people singing Kumate. Yeah. <laughs> Kumate. So I feel like I feel like this is just all setting up like a major tournament. Um, uh -huh. So I give it about a six point five with the story okay. and everything included. Um, it, it is a Mortal Kombat movie. It's mm -hmm. exactly what we wanted. Um, the first ten minutes I was like, okay, this might be better than I expected. Mm -hmm. But then it kind of leveled off, and I'm like, all right. This is kind of what I expected after that. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, Dave. I was gonna say I was gonna say that for later, but yeah, that first stretch of what about ten minutes was awesome, amazing. Like I was like, whoa, yeah, where are we going with this? You know? <laughs> yeah. Like that was amazing, and then, and then yeah, like you said, it leveled off to you know to, to, <laughs> to what I expect. <laughs> No, man, um, look, I thought it was fun. You know, it's, um, look, I'm not expecting some crazy thespian to right. burst out this it's amazing not a masterpiece, you know. Yeah, it's not a but, Shakespearean um, Yeah, you know, epic. But, but like Chris said, it had it had the blood. It mm -hmm. had the characters, you know, it had it had the fight. Like, I like the fights, you know, a lot yeah. of good fights and everything. Um. There was a whole lot of cheese, like, holy God. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it's fine. It, th this is what I call one of those Sunday afternoon, you got nothing going on. You know right. what? Let's, let's just have it up going, you know? I, uh, yeah. It, 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 look, it's not, it wasn't bad at all, but. Right. I got you. I, I'll, I'll give it a solid. Uh, I'll give it a solid Hearthstone at a coffee cup. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so um, Chris, you're gonna have to average yours. So five and a six out of ten. Uh, let's say a six out of ten. Also. Well, yeah, well, I gave him five. I gave him five. Yeah. Damien's got a five for being nostalgic, and I bumped right. up another one and a half for the story. Okay, so six out of ten. <laughs> gotcha. Of ten. So yeah. Six out of ten from Chris. Uh, Hearthstone out of coffee cup from Dave. <laughs> I don't know if that's a legit rating scale but i will i'll we'll, allow we'll, it we'll, we'll we'll say if we had to put a number to that hearthstone at a coffee uh -huh. cup about 5.5 5.5 out of 10 out of 10 yeah out of 10. okay so the coffee cup is a 10 the hearthstone is a 5.5 okay so <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you all got those ratings um as for me mortal kombat truly was fan service which it's supposed to be uh i do believe it is a prequel from what I was reading, it is a prequel that leads to the tournament because that was a that would have been a really effed up kind of tournament and effed up way to leave the Mortal Kombat franchise. Uh, and since it has been um, 
pretty much etched in stone that this bad boy is supposed to lead into three more movies. Mm -hmm. I, um, I believe we are getting the tournament. We are actually going to get the Mortal Kombat tournament that the game that's based from the game that is created by Ed Boon and John Tobias. Let's not uh, leave those guys out because without them, we will not be yelling Mortal Kombat or hearing bitty, 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 bitty. Which, thank goodness, the um, soundtrack and movie score waited till the end of the movie to go that route <laughs> yes. to give us the ED image. The um, <laughs> um, shit. So, thank you all for that. I thought it was fun, it was an okay film. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes my hot take. It is not the greatest video game movie of all time. Kiss my natural black big ass. It is not. I'm sorry. No. That goes to Sonic the Damn Hedgehog. <laughs> that movie, for me, is the greatest video game adaptation of all time right now. Mortal Kombat, you had three times. Three times you, you, you're there. But I didn't feel the feels that I felt from watching the, the little blue speedster. The blue blur. The blue blur himself <laughs> with the cool ass blue sneaks, ripping and running, grabbing um grabbing gold rings. And I'm sorry, their credit after credit scene is a hundred times better than what Mortal Kombat from 2021 gave me. Why? Because we got Miles Tails Prowler flying through looking for Sonic. This one, I'm going to look for some fighters. And there's a poster <laughs> of Johnny Cage. I'm going to Hollywood. Yeah, you know, <laughs> hooray for Hollywood. No one cares. But it was a fun film. It is a Sunday, um, nothing to do kind of movie. Um, oh, it's on TNT. I'll watch oh, it. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely play look, in the background. It, it's on the TV. Yeah, it's there. We're we doing it. But the movie I really would have been excited for was Scorpion and Sub Zero, because yes. Joe Taz, um, Taslam and um, Hiroyuki Sonata. Wow, that first ten minutes of that film was the film. It was man. awesome. Like it, oh, it was man shot awesome the the whole story set up with them awesome yeah you know the lin q clan uh, just everything yeah that was awesome i would have enjoyed a hunt um a one hour 50 minute film of just them two and the 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 saga of you know sub-zero going through hell trying to find his way out vengeance i'm coming for you um um by han or is it by han yeah by han i or Bihan, however you want to say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I really wanted that movie. Like I was itching and feeling like a, you know, like Tyrone. Hey, baby, you got some more of that Scorpion storyline, <laughs> baby. You know, I really wanted that storyline to run through that whole movie. You know, I needed a Hanzo um, Bihan, you know, throwdown. And what I got near the end, not so much. And I still love the fact that. He was a strong, hardcore. Um, Hanzo had a really strong Japanese accent, but by the time he became Scorpion, he sounded like he was <laughs> from California. Get over here! And I'm like, <laughs> what? I would have loved him to just say it in Japanese, you know. And you see, you know, you see the chain going after him, but you know, I digress. But anyway, I would say, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, what, from there. I, I don't want to say that it just kind of you, you're like you're like whoa this this was nuts wow yeah. and and then you go to the ring with with, with you know our boy Cole there just kind of getting his ass handed to him constantly well, you know it's kind of weird too because it's almost a role reversal usually Sub Zero was the good guy and Scorpion yeah was, like the, was the bad guy yeah, but right. I think those those roles changed I forgot what game like they really changed it. Because oh. Scorpion was Scorpion was a part of the clan, and he went against it, and Sub Zero was sent to 
to to to stop him? I I, I don't remember. You I know, thought, like Scorpion assassinated his brother or something like that, okay. and that's why Sub Zero is mad. Like I only played the first three games, so yeah. Because I, I know it was vengeance. Yeah, the past few from, from years, you had a whole a whole big story. Yeah, they, they, they've like made World so many Combat, changes. 10, 11, you know, I, yeah, because you remember they had the Mortal Kombat Origins kind of game, mm -hmm. where you you know it, it they did one for Sony Blade and Jax and uh, Scorpion and I, I I was just like whoa this is crazy because I I know Sub Zero turned his back on the clan which came around what Mortal Kombat three and four because you remember he had just the regular outfit where you saw yeah. his face and he had the red um you know mark on his face and stuff like that he had turned his back on the clan i was just like wow this is really getting convoluted <laughs> you know street fighter is so easy to recognize for me when it comes to storyline as well as game because i still think it's far superior yeah fight me on that add me bitch not <laughs> movie wise that street fighter movie with jean claude that was that's just hey so bad it's good whoa Whoa. <laughs> the day you met Bison might have changed your life. But to him, it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And look, they both had horrible sequels because we all remember the Chung Lee movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Annihilation. Well, and I think this one, it, you know. Yeah, we, we, you know. I think this one is kind of like what Annihilation should have been but with a better budget and better writers. So it's better than Annihilation. Yeah, definitely way better than Way better than that. Um, I, I, I will say this. Raiden was just there. Him and Shang Tsung was just like, hey guys, I'm here. We're, we're gonna do some shenanigans, but. Like they, they both had like one scene of shenanigans that they yeah, actually did. Yeah, and, and it just went like, and then after that, uh, I I protect Earth Realm, but yeah, sorry, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, not much yeah. I'm gonna do about it. I'm gonna save this child, and then here you come, Cole, and you know now. I would say the savior of this film, truly, 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 has to go to Josh Lawson as Kano. Yeah. Kano was yeah. that character. Kano, yeah, he, he, he was, was definitely that Kano. guy. He was the okay. This feels Mortal Kombat ish. You yeah, know, the Kano, foul mouth and exactly. Always foul mouth. Always an asshole. You know. Yeah. Always. You, you knew somewhere he was gonna end up betraying these dudes. Right. He is an asshole. The comic relief was was nice. You know, he he was the kind of the butt of the joke or the person that's gonna get his ass kicked. What I didn't really understand or like was we're gonna unlock your superpower you know it's like yeah your your O'Connor yeah your the the O'Connor thing I, I was just <laughs> I was like okay are we going into the hyperbolic time chamber here we're gonna train with Mr. Popo and Kami and then all of a sudden Kami. you know you come out of here yeah are, are the X-Men you're gonna have this <laughs> moment of um intense uh, stress and your X gene is going to kick in and you're going to get just one laser eye. <laughs> I would be pissed if I was Kano. Hey man, he's telling me I only shoot one out of one eye. The Walmart Cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been hurt. I would have been pissed. Like, mm, okay. All right. Suspension of disbelief. No problem. Our suspension of belief. Let's just go into the our suspension of disbelief because I can't believe it. No, you're supposed to believe it's movie magic. I'm cool with that. <laughs> but even though it was a prequel, it could have been a lot more. I like yes. I said, that first 10 minutes should have been the full movie. Leading into, you know, like it I, I think it wasn't as fleshed out as it should have been. You know, and when you give us this this amazing 10 minute intense scene. And then you just go, okay, here's Cole. Cole gets his ass beat. Cole is a yeah. fighter who loses a lot. Dude. Yeah, you know, and then all of a sudden, he's chosen to be in Mortal Kombat. And I'm like, well, how does that happen? You see, even the dog wasn't happy about that storyline. Since birth. 
<laughs> you have a yeah you know since birth you have been tagged with it because of the bloodline he okay spoiler alert if you haven't seen it because we will pretty much kind of spoil this film um he is a direct descendant of um hanzo hasashi aka scorpion and yay for that <laughs> it feels like it was a nephew right or son yeah he's um i think he's a son okay maybe you know like a great 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 grandson because mm-hmm. well we never know the sex of the baby well it doesn't even matter because if you're from if you're directly from oh stop it kid if you're directly from um hanzo's bloodline i would think you're a great 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 grandkid that's right i could be wrong but who knows you know, Mortal Kombat, next thing you know in the sequel, they'll probably say, no, he really was the baby that Raiden saved. Because that's what I thought. I seriously thought when I watched it, I was like, damn, that child should be a hundred and something odd years old. <laughs> but no, Raiden said, though, yeah, he's like, I just, I, this, this was, I saved your descendant. You, the, yeah, your that, ancestor. Yeah. I saved Correct. your ancestor. So. And then that, that, the mark has been passed down from generation right. to generation. Which is kind of weird because... Well, what is the thing? Mortal Kombat happens, what, every so many, like a century or something? Yeah. yeah. There's like a time period when they went, because supposedly, which is kind of weird, there were 10 that happened? If I remember uh, the story. Was it was a nine? This is number yeah. 10 or something? Yeah, this, this would be 10. 10. And so it, it, was, it was to the point where they, um, Earthrealm, either squeaked luckily squeaked out the winds and other world said no it's time for us to really you know yeah basically this movie this movie was basically like you know what dogs we're gonna cheat and be (laughs) bastards because we're from outland you know yeah it was like yeah other world or uh, is the other world or out world out world Uh, yeah the out world out world yeah excuse me out world was like outland this was really like an episode of Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. <laughs> Rock and Wrestling. That's that's basically what it was. It's Hogan versus Roddy Piper. <laughs> you know, Piper's crew is gonna we're gonna be bad and we're gonna cheat. And then Hogan's crew is like, no way, brother. We're gonna do the good thing. You know, and um, Jax was junkyard dog. <laughs> hey, don't respect the junkyard dog like that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> JYD. <laughs> Rest in peace to the to the late great junkyard dog, but um yeah let's talk about Jax. <laughs> I was I was about to say speaking of Jax, that was a cool uh you know removal of appendages. Yes. That like, was dope. But once again, it's Sub Zero. Sub Zero supposed to be the, one of the dopest. You know, supposed but, to be one of the dopest characters in the movie. My my main question thing with Jax. Okay, so he, he he get we see he gets you know we knew he was gonna get the robotic arms whatever, right. but he gets these little robotic like chicken legs right <laughs> yeah, and, and then when his Akuna of what is it called? I was gonna say is Akuna? that, is that his, like, did his Akuna his Matata. Matata just make them I'm all of a sudden just... turn into like nothing these metal monstrosities? But like, then they weren't even cool. They weren't really that cool looking. No, like you know I'm. I, when I think of his arms, you know, I go back to um, what was his first game? Mortal Kombat 2 was his mm-hmm. first appearance. He had, you know, yeah, it kind of looked like. I think I, 3 was the first one where he had the jacked, metal. you know, metal arm. Okay. Yeah. Two, 2 is, when, is real two arms. Is, yeah, when it's just his big jacked arm. Okay, his know? regular arms. Okay, I'm sorry. So 3 is where he gets his mechanical arms. Yeah. They look like something Tony Stark would build with Stark Tech Nanotech, right? He would use nano machines. They looked really yeah, cool. He's got like these big muscular ass. Yeah. Like, like he's gonna beat your face with these arms. They look like um Colossus's arms, if you yeah. want if you wanna um compare it to something. Here, they were just like, Hey, I found um a tailpipe from a nineteen sixty seven <laughs> uh Ford Fairlane and blah 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 blah. And here you go. And then when his Akuna Matata kicks in it's like prip, 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 prip. oh that's not an upgrade you know that was just like hey i found some more legos let's just put your, it on chicken, here, you know? your chicken bones are now complete <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know it was like fight with that brother you know it's like oh man and and, and what i love is that he looks at him and he just goes oh, oh yeah, he, 
<laughs> I mean, you see, he sees his little chicken arms and he's like, yeah. oh no, oh no. <laughs> Try, and then he's like, you see him training. It's like, I'm seriously waiting for Makad Brooks to say, yo, they ray fished me in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what is it with black men in technology? Does Marvel have to do everything right? Come on, <laughs> Marvel and Disney, come on, Warner Brothers. Give that brother some arms to be proud of, you yeah, know. I say because Jax is supposed to be a. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. You know, I like I like the actor, I like his character. Yeah, Macaw Brooks is a good actor. Is a great like, actor. He's supposed to be like you know after he gets like still. I mean, he's still kind of like a broken man because yeah, know, shit that happens to him. But I mean, he's supposed to be like yeah. still. A, a badass with yeah, with robot arms. He's supposed to be, you know, burnt. Look at the greatness that is the Winter Soldier. Y'all couldn't tell me. Y'all couldn't go call Wakanda and say, "Hey, <laughs> this is one of your aunt, one of your descendants. Give him some cool arms." I know I defend Earthrealm, but I will get you an arm. Yeah, you Raiden, know, yeah, hook him up, man. Come on. Yeah, Raiden, you're a god. Make these things happen. <laughs> you know, it didn't have to look, but you know, I digress. Um. I was just kind of like, wow. He he didn't even get to smash someone's head. I don't think he did. He did? He did? Uh, oh, yeah, he sure did. Whoa. I'm sorry. Whoa, first I don't recognize off, the guy he had beef with. Oh, that? that's right. That's after, right. After his sorry. chicken bones came fully through. Upgraded. Yeah, he did go. Burp. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just angry about his sad, pitiful robot arms, y'all. That <laughs> that was that was a uh, that was kind of like um a participation trophy kind of arm. <laughs> You know, here you have Liu Kang fireballing, Kung Lao, chop, you know, he's got his buzzsaw cap, you know, he's got his snapback going. Um, fuck, even Louis Tan's character, Cole, Cole Young, got a suit of armor. I was gonna say, yeah, he, he, he got like, like, he got armored up. He's guy, who gets, guy who gets yeah. beat a lot of armor. Dude, he he really did. His thing transformed like Colossus in the X-Men video game. I was just waiting for him to go, ah! yeah. you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was waiting for it. And he still got his ass handed to him. So I was like, man, these these, these so-called world Earth fighters, Earth Realm fighters, they, they, they suck. Except for Sonya. Sonya got for OP at the end. Sonya got mad OP. <laughs> mad oh, yeah. OP. Her, her Kuna Matata just kicked in and she was like mega bitch. And <laughs> Dude, yeah, let me not say that. Let me not disrespect women. But that heifer got strong. <laughs> yeah, she uh she went <laughs> pulling somebody. <laughs> right. And then, you know, taking out Kano, she, she got, you know, she got the stamp of approval. I got you the know. mark. I got you the Hakuna Matata. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was waiting for stuff. Um, it means no worries. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I was waiting for Stan Bush. Like right when she got hers, and I think she did the. <laughs> da, 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 da. You got the touch. Boom, boom. <laughs> that should have been Cole's moment. Cole should have got the touch. He went and when his armor kicked in, I thought he was gonna get a boost in strength. I thought his fighting ability would have gotten you know a hundred times cooler. You're the descendant of a badass. If everything was gonna kick in. And I, I honestly thought he was going to transform into Scorpion. Like the spirit of Hanzo would have took over him. And then it would have been like a Ghost Rider moment. You know, if anybody has not seen the greatness that is the original Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage, where he turns into the Ghost Rider for the first time. I just love that look of, <laughs> you know, he starts laughing. And then he's like, I'm Ghost Rider. I really thought that was going to happen to Cole, where he was going to get possessed by um scorpion but that didn't happen so my dreams were deferred or deterred or just shit the the ending are we going spoilers yeah it's spoil it man oh, let's yeah. not I mean, make people like, suffer it, the ending is funny because it's everybody been. came back to life i'm like what the hell it's like this movie was pointless they did yeah goro came back to life you never like they all disappeared he was like we'll be back Oh yeah, that was that was sure. uh, Shang Tsung taking them away. Yeah, he was, take all know, the... he was taking them, and he's like, you know, death is already the beginning. Kind of yeah. Thing, you know? Oh, I thought and... they killed him back to life. No, nah, I didn't see Kung Lao come back to life. They sucked well, him. Chances, yeah. chances are you end up having some. Oh yeah, Kung, Kung Lao. Kung Lao got sucked out like a link of boudin. It was over. <laughs> yeah. 
game Crawfish over. Team. Oh, Crawfish That's what I say. They, yeah, they, there you go. That was they the uh, Excuse me. Shang Tsung, one thing in the movie. He know? actually did something cool. That was that was his one thing. Like yeah. earlier when we said, him and Raiden down. each did one thing. That was right. his one thing. Because Raiden did the electricity. You know. Yeah. You know, and then Shang Tsung's like, ha, huh, one up. I take your kid. You know, I took <laughs> your hand. I took your hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, oh, we did get an animality. Um, or bestiality. What? No, it's not bestiality. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Whoa, sir. Here, I'm I'm here the the over my combat. We do not use animals for certain things. That's one of them, sir. What movie were you watching? Woo. Uh, I was watching Mortal Kombat from the looks of it, <laughs> which was actually a porn, kids. There was a porn named Mortal Kombat. Don't ask me how I know. I just watch movies and I love all genres. No. <laughs> she just yeah. begun to come. That's what that was the tagline. Um. <laughs> oh God, where am I? I need help. I need help. I need help. No. Um. <laughs> no, we saw that math, <laughs> which was cool. We saw that with Lutein, but it didn't bite him in half. It just enveloped him, you know, and just oh, yeah. we did the dragon and it just took him out. Why we didn't get any friendships? Because this you movie know. was not as brutal as I thought it would be. Would be. It was more of a friendship. I mean, we did it. We fatality. did have some fatality as yeah. moments. Uh, Kung Lao. You Kung know, Lao with, in the hat. With, with you know, the I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just yeah. I'm gonna just call her wing bitch. You know, uh, so, Natara. Yeah. Who wing bitch? I don't remember <laughs> Natara in the video games. If she was, please, anyone who would put it in the uh, comments. Melina was in it, but she didn't have that Kool Aid smile. I, I was pissed. She did have well, the sharp teeth, but it wasn't as cool looking. Yeah, yeah. Because I said she, more at the end, though, you could kind of see yeah. it kind of. Where it started to rip open. Yeah, 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 but I was just like, come on, boo. Let's get with it. This is Mortal Kombat. And then, People and then of course, you know, Mortal Kombat, we, we did have some extremely cheese. Yeah. Flawless feet. Okay, that let, let's get to that. That was not needed because it's not supposed to be Kung Lao saying it. It was so blatantly corny when he said yeah. it. Yeah. Because it wasn't even... He um, kills her. Cool. But come on, man. Yeah. Wait, did he say it when he did it to her or did when they, um, when, what's his name, got beat? When Sonya whooped on um Kano. I thought that's when he had said, flawless victory. No, Kung, be... La Kung Lao did it when he killed uh, Natara. Natara? And oh, okay. And then he put yeah, his hat chops back her on, with yeah. his hat and everything. Right. Puts it back. Does his does his you know snapback motion? Yeah. And... Victory. Okay. You know he had his uh, alien. His what is it? Uh, Mitchell and Ness and, and snapback. We had, where where where? I'm dope. trying to remember. There was there was the other you know stupid cheese. Somebody said fatality. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I I don't remember. Was it Luke Kane? Somebody just said fatality, and yeah. it, it was another moment where I just went, eh, okay. Was that when Reptile died? Maybe. I think but, it was when Reptile died. They, that's when there was the first cheese ball. Like, then it would have had to been like Kano that said it. Or whatever, yeah. Yeah, Kano might have said it. And I've always said with fatality and flawless victory, Shang Tsung should be saying it, sitting on his throne watching. Exactly. Because I, I always thought, the voice in the video game that's telling them to fight and flawless victory and things like that was uh, Shang Tsung because he's watching the tournament. Yeah, because like you know? first game and everything, you, know, you see him just sitting there. In yeah, the just thing, chilling. Like, mm. Chilling in his yeah. lazy boy, mm. watching the game. And then like second game and everything on, you know, you kind of had like a uh, Shao Kahn and everything sitting right. in the background in right. his thrones and whatever. Because Shang Tsung was an agent of Shao Kahn, I believe, yeah. or his wizard and all of that, which... Yeah, it, it was his source <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, this the the movie itself. Um, I'm I'm with Chris. The story the story was was very meh. Um, the action when the action kicks in, especially cool. yeah, the action was cool. The 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 final fights. Um, when Goro shows up, and I'm just looking at Goro like somebody woke up and said, "I want to make him look exactly like the original Goro from the '95 <laughs> movie." But with a um, CGI sheen, it looked really cool. But that ponytail, that <laughs> pony, he he washes his hair with mane and tail. If y'all don't know what mane and tail is. Oh, I know. 
hey, you were not around in the 90s when, the, when, when women were just like, I need my hair to look fuller and bushier, like a horse's tail, you know? <laughs> and that was the shampoo. Look it up, Google. I kid you not. So I, I was, I'm okay with the movie. So since everybody gave a rating, I give it a six. I give it a six out of 10. Um, nostalgia wise, yes, it really hit on every, all the notes of nostalgia. You know, you got your fatalities, you got one animality, you got um, some soul sucking. Um, Raiden, he did that one thing, but Raiden, I, I really wanted to see more. I think Christopher Lambert as Raiden did a hell of a lot more than um, Osano san as Lord Raiden in this movie. But hopefully, what comes from all of this, even script wise, I'm hoping the sequels go further. And when yeah. I mean further, I mean further. You, you, you've already, you know, jumped the shark, you know, with Cole. It wasn't a great stunt to bring in Cole because I think you want to try to keep Cole as a catalyst of what's going on. But I really wish they'd have sat there and said, okay, you know what? This is... They should have had a focus group and I should have been in there. And I'd have told them to their faces, yo, this part of the movie, the 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 one hour, 40 minutes of the movie, including graph um credits, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, no. This first 10 minutes of the movie, focus on that. Focus on it. And then focus and run with it. Oh, and I mean, run like the Flash with it, not oh, not yeah. like this. I mean, Jackie Joyner, Kersey, Usain Bolt, run with it. You know, Florence Griffin, Flojo, run like Flojo and Usain Bolt, man. I mean, that. I think that would have been a much better movie, action wise, story wise, and you can see, like, it ends where Scorpion, be where you know Hanzo truly becomes Scorpion. And then you could bring in Shang Tsung, pulling in um, Bihan, and boom, 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 boom. Here's the tournament. You know, the next movie would have been the tournament. I don't think this would have. This was that great of an intro, reintroduction into the Mortal Kombat um, world. <clears throat> so I do give it a six out of ten. And 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 like you said, we'll see where they go. Or mm -hmm. you ain't Chris. Like we'll see where they go next. Like if they yeah. go full tournament style, like Chris was saying. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, all, I'm all about it. Oh, they yeah. get the lore out the way. Which yeah, you get that they out. did, yeah. Right. And right. they should be, because, like, you know, the tournament is coming. They need the champions, all yes. that, you know. So, I mean, yeah, if they go full tournament style, mm -hmm. a la, you know, like you said, like a blood sport or something, like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I want to see more of it. And I, I got to say shout out to Daniel Nelson as Cabal. Cabal was hilarious. You did this to me. And he's like, oh, man, I... Sorry, maybe, <laughs> you know, when him and Kano got into it, and he's like, you know what? You can make it up to me. And then Kano, you know, switches and I'm like, oh, OK, yeah, you can ask for a crap load of money. And then you can ask for a crap load more after that. Right. And then you take him out. You kill Kano, which <laughs> I guess is the springboard for Sonya Blade to becoming, you know, Sonya Katana, Sonya, you know, Halliburton or Sonya Broadsword, whatever you want to go with it, because she was truly OP'd at the end. She was pretty, and I gotta say, um, Jessica um, McNamee was actually a pretty good act. She, all the actors were cool. Yeah. You know, they were cool. They did their thing. But Joe Taslim and Hiroyuki Sonata, they owned that movie. They, you know, they owned it. I was about to say, that, yeah, that was, those two were awesome. Yeah, because every time Sub-Zero came on, Sub-Zero was a cool asshole. <laughs> Like, I seriously think Shang Tsung was scared of See what you did, dude. Yeah, you see it? Cool yeah. asshole. Cool. <laughs> Shit and ice cubes. <laughs> um, no, like, I seriously thought Shang Tsung was kind of scared of him. Oh, uh, yeah, that he, dude. He was like, I mean, should I kill them all? No. Stop. <laughs> Bro, take it down, like, like <laughs> yeah. three, maybe four notches. You know, yeah, we get it. You're a nice, cold assassin. <laughs> Warm up a little bit, buddy. Back up. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't tell him to take a chill pill, but it would have been funny, you know, where you just go, take a chill pill. 
I'm done. And I'd you have say, been like, you say that and you bring it to like, you know, <laughs> oh, you, you bring it to like Batman Forever. Style, yeah, so like, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> chill. Yeah. What killed the dinosaurs? The ice age. <laughs> <itch. laughs> <laughs> the puns could have been immaculate in Mortal Kombat, you know? Oh, man. Combat. Ooh, I almost, almost went back to them pornos. I might, get, <laughs> might get a strike there, little perv. But no, um, I okay. I guess we might as well just wrap this bad boy up. And I will ask the question of you two, and I'll start with David. Dave, would you recommend Mortal Kombat for viewing for others? For others, you know to what? View? I would actually, just because look. I may, I may have given it a, a hard stone out of coffee cup, but <laughs> I think, you know, I think it was fun at least, you yeah. know, the action, action was cool. I mean, story, whatever, but I mean, who's look, man, you, you're coming into a mortal Kombat a thing about just bloody fights, mm-hmm. you know, right. You, you want the action. You, you know why you're there. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I recommend it. Yeah. Check it out. Cool. Chris, do you recommend mortal Kombat for others to view? Yeah. Or should others view it? I would like if you're in the middle of a series and you need a break or something. I mean, it's a good movie just kind of break away with, or if you just want to sit down and not have to think too much, <laughs> then this is the movie exactly. just to kind of do it to. Right. He'll keep you entertained. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my thoughts. Go ahead. I I suggest you take a look at it. It is a good little uh, time killer. Um, if you ain't got nothing to watch, definitely check out Mortal Kombat. Um, I believe it is still on HBO Max by the time you see this video. But if you watch this video months later, it's not there. So 9 out of 10, you'll probably have to rent it or buy it. Or it should be on HBO proper sooner or later. So with that being said, whew, I want to thank Mr. David Welty, Mr. Christopher cool. McNabb for joining me. And to you, the viewers, guess what? You made it to the end of the review. Kudos. You know the drill. Hit that red subscribe button. It will only take a second. If you're hearing screaming in the background, my little nephew is probably being um, disciplined. Trust me, there is nothing crazy with that. That's how he acts. Yeah, that's, (laughs) you know, babality. (laughs) He's going to turn us all into little screaming babies one day. But... Ladies and gentlemen, as I continue, hit that blue thumbs up. Blue thumbs are always cool. And ring that bell and turn your notifications to all so you will be notified when a new movie review comes out or the new Geek Table Talk, which episode nine is out and about in the wild. Definitely give it a watch as well as older movie reviews. Please check them out. I know you'll enjoy them. So with that being said, once again, thank you for watching and we're in a pandemic we're still in it we didn't get the all clear so remember wash your hands wash your feet and most importantly wash your ass and wear a damn mask until next time peace out fatality all this victory (laughs) or wear a condom if it's be (laughs) saudi i should have did it